You take it off. Take it off. Take the funnel, put it in here, pour your methanol, fill it up. Put the cap back in. Tighten it up. Snug. Then what we're not going to tighten this up, this is a bleeder valve that lets the pressure off and on. We're going to tighten that up in just a second, but what I like to do is I turn it around here and this is the on and off knob. Turn it straight down on with no pressure on the tank. That's going to trap fuel in this tube. So the mantle, when the heat starts heating here, it's going to actually start lighting the mantle before the fuel, before you open it up and turn it on and let the fuel go through. Watch. We turn it back off. Now we've trapped fuel in that tube because the check valve's in the bottom. Okay, now we're going to tighten this up. That's tight. Now I'm going to add some pressure so when it does start lighting up, I'll be ready just to turn that knob on over here. Now I'm going to add some pressure. Okay, I'll do four, five, six, eight strokes. You'll see the needle move when it's full of fuel. The needle will move right there a little bit. It's moved up. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to take methanol in this little bottle. I've put some methanol in it, a little bit in it. We're going to fill this cup up on the inside. Look right to the side here. You see a hole right here. There's a hole right in here between the knob and the pump. What we're going to do is we put that right through there. Watch the little cup on the inside. Fill it up. Now it's full. Now put that to the side. I'm going to take a match. I'm going to strike it. Put it through the hole, you hear the methanol take off. It's lit. You can't hardly tell that it's lit. You won't see it. So what I do is if you want to make sure it's lit, put the match in there. See the match? The match is taken off so we know it's burning. Okay, we got the fuel in there. Then we're going to light the match. I may have just showed you lighting the match. I'm going to light it. Got it full of fuel. Light it up. It's burning. It's hard to tell because, again, methanol doesn't show a flame, so you just put the match in there and it'll actually start burning the match and show you that it's burning. Now what you do is you listen to it. It'll burn that cup of fuel all the way off and it may not. It's in there. Now we've trapped some fuel in the tube, like I said, and what we're going to do is listen and the mantle should take off on itself, start to light a little. It may not. If it don't, go ahead and turn this on before the fuel is all the way out of the cup or you're going to have to put a little in there or a match in there so you can have a flame because you have to have the flame in there to meet the fume so it'll ignite. Well, the mantle's taken off. You hear it pop. When it pops like that, it means it's ready. So I just turned it on and it lit. It actually popped and took off by itself. So I just turned it back off and trapped some fuel in there. But we just turned it actually it had the fuel and you can hear it it kind of popped and took off you'll see it it'll even turn a little white sometimes start over itself just turn it straight down and it lights up now we already pre-pressurized it with a little bit of pressure all we have in there is about one on the where we're less than one on the gauge and you can add as much pressure as needed when you first light it if there's any fuel left like there is in the cup right now that methanol is burning off it may run a little erratic because it's got two heating sources and just until that fuel burns off in the cup, then it'll smooth on out. And then just add pressure where you want, but you really don't have to put a lot of pressure in this lantern to have it run. It's running beautiful the way it is. See how to start the uh, methanol lantern. A little procedure, we're using a uh, blue alcohol bottle. It'll be filled up either with methanol or alcohol to preheat. You, the methanol lantern can have alcohol, um, methanol, E85, ethanol, or straight ethanol, straight methanol. Okay, we're going to add some in there in the cup. Watch your cup on the inside, fill it up a little bit. There's a little hole between the on and off knob and the pump. What we're going to do here is we're going to turn the knob straight down like we're turning it on. That's on. We Over here on our pressure gauge, 149 after we filled it with fuel, we're going to keep the pressure off on the 13 valve. Open that up so there's no pressure on it. You don't want no pressure on the lantern when you start it this way. 
Okay. I'm going to take a match. Strike it. Put it inside the hole. Light the methanol, ethanol, or alcohol for preheating. Watch the flame. And also watch the lantern. The mantle's going to take off by itself and light up. Then you'll add pressure to it. We'll add the pressure once the mantle starts to take off. Watch it there. You'll also hear the lantern start up, the mantle, start popping and taking off. That's really alcohol isopropic, that's why it's flamey, so you can see it real well. Methanol would be clear, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. We heard it starting up, so we started adding pressure to it. We didn't have our leader valve tight. You need that tight back here on the 149 gauge before you start adding pressure or it won't start lighting up. You can add pressure, ever how much pressure you want to get in lightness and brightness. On this lamp, we have a little adjustment of another type too on it. We have our alcohol blocked up here, right here. You can adjust brightness with a screwdriver. I'm going to show you that. We're going to turn it sideways. Okay, we're going to do the alcohol adjustment block right here. It's right in this area. I always hold the inner casing down with a screwdriver if I have the hood off the lantern. When I do this, this way you can adjust it out. We'll give you a little bit more light or dimmer. Can dim it down in. We'll increase light to a degree. Get too far, you'll notice you'll start losing light intensity. So you can turn the light down really low. Screw it in, you can get the light down low. Screw it out. So a certain degree is going to give you your optimum light and you want to stop at a good brightness if that's what you want. If you want it to stay dimmer, you can turn it in, and that'll give you a dimmer light. When you put the Easy Cook on top, you'll be able to adjust this. Coming out in the future, we're going to put holes in the hood so you, and the methanol lantern so you can actually adjust this block also. That's 3350. It comes with the methanol alcohol lantern. So that's the starting of the lantern. What I like to do is bring it back around, let pressure off, let it die out, and shut her completely off. That's the starting of the methanol lantern. I'm going to put a little fluid in there. I'll put a little in the cup. I'm going to come around here with stick matches. Light the stick match. Get it inside. It lights the fuel. If you're not sure it lit, just take your stick match after it's out. Put it back inside, and you'll see it light up on its own. So we know it's going. The lantern's going to light on its own just a minute. And what we're going to have to do is add pressure. What we did in the beginning was turn the knob down to get fuel into the tube here. And then we turned it back off. Now as the heat starts heating the tube up, the lantern's going to light on its own, and we're going to add pressure to it. The lantern's starting to light. I'm going to turn around here. I cut this tight, start adding pressure to it. Got to turn the lantern on. It's real low on pressure right now. Gonna add pressure to it.
know to start running. We still had we had a little too much fuel in the cup. We just got to burn that off. But the lantern started lighting up on its own. You didn't have to do anything. Just let the the fuel preheat. The lantern, the methanol will light immediately. Similar to propane, it's really neat. When you have to add pressure to it. We take a look at our gauge. We're on one right now. Is all right near the one. 